As you probably heard, multiple homes owned by Diddy were raided by law enforcement in multiple states as part of an investigation into the musician and music industry executive. Now, this does not look good for him. What this ends up becoming remains to be seen. But there are a lot of questions, a lot of very fascinating and shocking information in a number of lawsuits that have been filed against him. Again, that do not look good. You have his former girlfriend, Cassie, who sued him. He settled the case a couple of days later. In that filing, she alleged that among many other things, he had made the comment he was gonna blow up Kid Cudi's vehicle for apparently being romantically involved with her at a time they weren't together. And then the New York Times reaches out to Kid Cudi and he confirmed that his vehicle did blow up. That one of numerous shocking claims all revolving around the situation with him. Now in the music industry, there are a lot of different people who find success. Some have direct overnight success. And then there are these people who really have to grind and really have to grow over a long period of time, really fight for what they have before things connect. What you find is a lot of those musicians tend to do better long-term. They have that kind of resiliency within them. And one of those artists to me is definitely Jelly Roll. This is a person who was around in music for a long period of time, but only at, over the last several years has he really experienced breakout success to the point he's become hands down one of the most successful musicians in the entertainment business. And so you don't get there unless you have very strong instincts, you're savvy. He is certainly one of those people alongside his wife, of course, Bunny XO, who has one of the largest podcasts in the country right now. They're just killing it. That's a whole nother story. He's changing the game for music right now. He is owning his own masters, getting the majority of his streaming revenue. Most artists cannot say that. This is someone who's made a lot of smart deals. And during a recent appearance on Tana Mongu's canceled podcast, he told a really interesting story. There are just certain people who trust their intuition. Jelly Roll is one of them. And he tells a story about having the chance to meet Diddy. And it, it seems like something about the situation just felt off to him and he left and went the other way. And I just thought this was so fascinating. I mean, have you met any celebrities that you feel like Either A, you just had a bad interaction with, or B, like they were giving Illuminati or Dark Side. I genuinely Ooh, don't. I gotta be honest, that is a great question by Tana. And that is also something when I talk to musicians that I like to ask. So she asked them if they feel like they've ever encountered anyone from the Illuminati. And they kind of say, no, they don't feel like they've ever interacted with them. I think they would say so if they had. And Jelly goes on to say, oh, no one's ever tried to touch my butt. This guy is so fucking hilarious. He has so many stand-up comedian friends. I really believe that he is someone who could do stand-up. He's that funny. I'm trying to touch my butt. You know what I'm saying? That's what I know. It's just, maybe I'm not their tight. You know what I'm saying? I will tell Amazing. this story. So this is the spot right here. Again, he's someone who really seems to rely on his intuition. It's gotten him very far in life, and I think he's correct. He's out here at Jimmy Kimmel Live. He's on this show. You know, he does the late night shows. Everybody wants to talk to him and he has the opportunity to meet Diddy and something about it didn't feel right. I thought this was interesting. Not not harping on it because it's a hot topic, but I did Kimmel okay. mm -hmm. the day Diddy did Kimmel. Did you? Oh yeah, that's right. And it's he the did first learn. time, this is, this is the first time in my career where ever, where they said, do you want to meet such and such? And I said, yeah, and I started walking that way. And as I was getting down the hallway, this is a true story. I said, nah. Better not. And went and got back in the car. Really? See, he felt something. Isn't that interesting? He felt something. There's just something about it in that situation, in that moment. Where? I don't know what it was. Do you think you'd... And I made a joke was at first. Like a I was feeling? like, who don't want to meet the guy that got Tupac killed? And nobody <laughs> thought that was funny. So I was like, oh, that's a bomb. Maybe. Oh, man. That's so funny. I shouldn't go do this anyway. <laughs> so I was already skeptical because I thought I had a funny one. And it was hilarious. Like, that. that is funny. That is funny. That, you know what I mean? Yeah. And when we were walking, I was just like, I don't know. It is just something like very seldom does things rub me in a way where I was like, I don't even know if that's a picture I want. I mean, what you'll find with Jelly Roll is he really is a real person who just is living the American dream. I remember seeing him playing early on, opening up music festivals, and now he is about as popular as you can be in entertainment. And so it's incredible 
What ends up happening in this situation with Diddy remains to be seen. Uh, it's a huge story in music. I think there's probably a lot more that's gonna unfold in this situation. We're probably in the early stages. Obviously gonna be another incredible year for Jelly Roll and his whole band who I think the world of. Just had Cody Ash, this drummer, on Instagram Live recently. I predict it's gonna be another amazing year, folks. It already has been for him. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe right here for the latest news and updates.